So we asked about um, why is why is Draymond Green talking about football? I need a podcast about why isn't Max Kellerman talking about football? Like, what, yeah, at, at well, this point, and it's been it's been over a year, and I, I yeah. get the uh, you know the the fact that he he was under contract at ESPN when they let him go, and he's he's probably collecting a paycheck still from them. But his his ability to go from being on the radio and television every single day for decades to just falling completely off the grid. Like we, we don't get a podcast. There's no interview, no tweets, nothing. So um, when is, when is Max Keller going to reset yeah, this? Yeah. To that point, Max, Max's career started doing, um, he, he, it was when he was in college, actually, I think it was in high school and then college. Uh, he did a public, like what are the pub, what's the public channel in New York? Like free access TV. Yeah. He did a boxing show. Because I, I always wanted to know how he got started. He did a boxing show because he was really into boxing growing up. And, yep. um, and that's how he got started. That's how he ended up getting ESPN and HBO or Showtime, I think it was. Um, and he was a perfect example of he found a niche that needed to be addressed that wasn't, that was underserved. And he attacked it. And he was really ultra aggressive with it. And I, I think incredibly talented. I've asked him that. We had dinner pretty recently, and I asked him, like, when are you making your next move? And he he said, I got something really cool in the mix. He wouldn't tell me what it was. He said it was soon, and that it was uh, – he. it sounded really dope. Like, I, I, <laughs> I really I, – I, I swear he did not tell me what it is, but it sounded like a, a, an awesome opportunity and one that he was super passionate about. Because you're right. I mean, he's he was on the air for so long. And then really he hasn't been for the last year plus. And I know he wants to, it's not, he's not just sitting around. He's been aggressive trying to find the right opportunity. Um, but I, I get a sense that it's getting closer. And a sense that it, it'll, it's sports related. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Max is, he's one of the, I think he's one of the most interesting guys, certainly in media that I've been around Yeah. because his background, you know, he's a New York city kid, well-educated, uh, then he had this uh, this horrific situation where his brother was murdered, um, and it's it's impacted his life. He he's the first one to tell you like my brother was more talented than me. He was more gifted, um, and it's impacted him in so many ways. He's try, I think he's tried really valiantly to to live through his brother in many ways. And but 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 you know boxing is at, is at his core. I think that's that's in his blood. And and he's he's still box. He's actually invited me a few times to go boxing with him and I'm always, and I box, but I'm always hesitant to do it with him. Cause I know how <laughs> he does Krav McGraw. He does some crazy stuff. And, uh, but no, he's been great to me. And, and I, I really think that like we need him back on the air and I, I'm hoping it's, it's soon. Yeah. I, I feel like people almost started to take Max for granted, maybe in the, in the media space. Yeah. And then now that he's been gone for over a year, um, you know, like people realize how good he was. And uh, I, I think it'll be a big deal whenever he announces his, his comeback. Yeah. So that'll, that'll be interesting. I agree. 